The small intestine is approximately six feet in length folded into the abdominal cavity. This helps to increase the surface area of the small intestine for absorption of digested material as the food makes its way through the digestive system tract. If the inside of the intestine were smooth, the length and diameter of the small intestine would spread out to cover the surface of a typical poster board you might buy to make a display for a class assignment. However, this alone is not enough surface area to ensure that digested food is absorbed to provide the body with all its needed nutrients. Instead, when we dissect a section of this organ, we can see with the naked eye that the inside lining is wrinkled, not smooth. The lumen surface has multiple folds or pleats that extend around the inside circumference of the small intestine. These plica circularis help increase the surface area about three times. So now the surface area flattened out would approximately cover the surface of a large towel you might use at the beach or pool. But there are even more structures to increase the surface area beyond this gross anatomy level. Microscopically, the surface of each plica is covered with villi that extend into the lumen. These finger-like extensions of the tissues increase the surface area tenfold. So if this area were flattened out, it would equal the square foot floor size of a typical dorm or hotel room. Yet there's one more level of increased surface area. Each of the epithelial cells that cover the surface of each villi have cell fold membranes called microvilli. These finger-like cellular extensions increase the surface area another 20-fold. As a result, if this surface area could be stretched out flat, it would cover the surface of a regulation-sized doubles tennis court.